Right, so I take the opportunity to tell you about a new research initiative we are starting with uh, Stefan Hartmann in, uh, at LMU Munich. And because it's uh, really starting, then I would welcome, very much welcome your feedback. So we want to explore, develop and explore the consequences of the basic idea that the laws of nature are the product of intelligent agents rather than something uh, we just discover out there, uh, so that the role of such agents is irreducible in the laws themselves. Uh, we won't argue that uh, uh, these uh, laws of nature so produced uh, still maintain uh, objective elements and reflect uh, reality out there, but in a more complex way than if they were just found out there. Uh, we do believe that the this role of intelligent agents uh, in the very low nature of the laws of nature, uh, laws of physics in particular, has implications for fundamental physics. And therefore, we believe that the uh, philosophy of science uh, should proceed uh, constantly intertwined with fundamental physics, uh, being uh, constrained by it and influencing its development, maybe offering guidelines or new insights. So in this sense, I call this a research program in applied philosophy of science. So the project has several aspects. The main one is within philosophy of science, and the first task would be to develop better such idea to a full-blown account of the nature of the laws of nature and confront it in particular with the literature, with the existing accounts of what the laws of nature and the laws of physics in particular are. Um, and part of uh, developing this account would be to try to formalize it within uh, a Bayesian uh, epistemological framework, just as a description of how agents proceed in uh, producing the laws of nature. And we do believe that uh, this may have implications or can be applied uh, in the foundations of quantum mechanics. And in this context, we want to understand, first of all, what is the relation between, between such epistemic account of the laws of nature and epistemic uh, interpretations of uh, uh, quantum mechanics itself. So again, we will have to confront with existing uh, uh, approaches to the foundations of quantum mechanics. We share, in part, such uh, uh, epistemic uh, foundation. Uh, and as more concrete examples of applications in uh, uh, foundations of quantum mechanics, we have in mind all the work on quantum reference frames and quantum causality. And the second sub-project uh, in the philosophy of science context, then we want to explore uh, the relationship between laws and causation to see if we can uh, understand better causation from such uh, uh, epistemic account. And uh, uh, in this context, uh, it means also developing uh, better the information theoretic aspects of uh, such epistemic account of the laws of nature. And as a physics application, we have in mind uh, applications in quantum gravity, uh, in particular, understanding how quantum causality is implemented in uh, a specific quantum gravity formalism. Uh, and similarly, whether we can provide or at least understand better the quantum information theoretic foundations of the same quantum gravity formalisms. Finally, still within philosophy of science, we believe that uh, a well-developed epistemic account of the laws of nature will uh, have implications for our understanding of the debate between uh, reduction and emergence this at the general level, but uh, we find uh, we look for applications of such new understanding, improved understanding of emergence and reduction in the context of cosmology, seen as uh, a coarse grained emergent description uh, of quantum gravity, a description in which space time itself is emergent from non spatial temporal uh, uh, fundamental entities. And we uh, suppose, uh, we hope, uh, that this can of also offer a new view on fundamental constants by combining uh, the insights on the epistemic account of laws and uh, th with the ones on emergent space-time. Thank you.